Welcome to Family Sunday School. I'm glad you're here. Now, does your school have a lost and found box? I know most schools do because we all lose things from time to time. I found the lost and found box from church. Should we look inside? What's in here? There's a book and a stuffed animal. And look, one shoe. One, not a pair. Wouldn't you think the person who lost a shoe would, rec would remember that he was leaving the church with only one shoe? I think that would be rather strange. What else do we have? We got a marker and some medicine. That could be important to somebody. And here's a pair of glasses. Now I hope that whoever needed these glasses didn't drive home from church. That could get really dangerous. Here's some chapstick and lip gloss. And look, here's a nice warm glove, nice winter glove. You know, it's not cold right now, but it was a little while ago, so I'm sure this is very important to somebody. I hope they don't miss it when it does get cold again. You know, there's a lot of things that could be very important to people in this box. Have you ever lost something that was important to you? I know I have. What do you do when you lose something really important to you? Do you just say, ah, that's okay. I can always get another one. It wasn't that big of a deal. No, I don't either. I look and look and lurk. I search high and low. I move furniture. I, I clean everywhere. I tear the house apart just to find that one lost thing. You know, well, today's Bible story is about some lost and found stories. Jesus tells three stories about people who have lost something very important to them. G uh, the first story that Jesus tells is about a man who had a hundred sheep. One hundred sheep, that's a lot. And one day, one of those sheep got lost. Do you think the man said, ah, oh, that's okay, I have 99 more. No, all hundred of those sheep was so important to that man that he left the 99 sheep and he went to look for the one. Can you imagine that he left? Well, the 99 were safe, so he went to search for that one lost sheep. When he found the sheep, he was so happy that he called all of his friends together and said, let's celebrate, let's have a party. I found my lost sheep. Next, Jesus told a story about a woman who had 10 silver coins. Each one of those coins was worth a whole day's pay. But one day she discovered that she had lost one of the coins. You know what she did? She turned on every light in the house. She swept the floor and moved furniture and searched until she found that one lost coin. And when she found the lost coin, she called all of her friends and neighbors together and said, yay, I'm so happy I found my lost coin. Jesus told these stories to tell us, to let us know of God's love for us. We are all God's children, but sometimes we get a little lost. But when that happens, God doesn't give up on us. God searches for us until we are found. In fact, the Bible tells us that God sent Jesus to save the lost. And just as the people in these stories rejoiced when they found what was lost, Jesus said, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. I'm glad that God loves us so much that God never gives up on us when we are lost. Aren't you glad? Have fun with the lessons this week and I'll see you next time.